Hey guys, this is uh, Nerdsource, aka James Bibblesworth, with a tutorial on how to fix most of the issues you will encounter when playing Critical Gaming. Uh, first thing, I, I'm on Windows 8, uh, but you can still follow this guide um, with Windows 7. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my charms bar, search. Uh, if you've got Windows 7, you can do it from the search box in uh, the start menu. And you type in percent, capital A, double P, data, capitalized, percent, and then hit enter. And you'll get to this folder here, which is the app data roaming folder. You need to come out of that back to app data, go to the local, go to armor three, and then you've got uh, various different folders here. Uh, you can delete, uh, if you go into players, this is every player that you encounter and it saves basically their faces and everything. So you can highlight all of these folders and delete them. And you go back out to squads and this is the uh, file for all the gangs that you will meet and the various you know, EMS and what have you. You can delete all of these too. Go back out again. Go to mission cache, MP missions cache, that's the mission file, you can delete that. It will re-download once you restart armor. Ignore the monetized servers cache, don't do anything in that, and again, uh, don't do anything in battle eye. Uh, once you've done all of that, you exit out of that. Uh, go to local disk, where you installed uh, armor 3, so mine is in program files x86, steam, Steam apps, common, armor 3, and then here you have various different folders. Uh, the folder you're looking for is the DLL folder. Now, bear in mind you may not actually have that. You've also got an MP missions file, but there's nothing in there, so that's fine. Um, you open up the DLL folder, and everything except for the README file, if you delete all of those, again, they will re download after um, you start up uh, armor 3 again delete those and once you've done all of that it should fix a lot of the issues that uh, you have um, if it doesn't then your issue is probably with one of these mods which is the actual CG mods including uh, user config uh, in which case you will have to deal with that by deleting these and then re-downloading them from the uh, repository but yeah, that should actually, once you restart Armor 3, let me just go to Armor 3 Sync. Make sure the repository is up to date. Click it. Connection to repository. Make sure all the files are up to date, which they are. Good. And then uh, go to Launch Options. Make sure that you have any additional parameters 0 and 1. Uh, Kika made a tutorial about that in the tutorial section and uh, armor3battleye.exe is selected down here in uh, armor3 executable location that way uh, armor3battleye starts up straight away select your profile, start game wait for it to load and you should find that uh, things run a little bit more smoothly you shouldn't get so many errors um, Again, if you have any other issues, then uh, it's more likely going to be with the mods themselves, in which case delete them and reinstall. Uh, I may make another video um, at a later date to show you how to properly install TFAR, because some people have been clicking cancel when it says TFAR installer needs to run, and you should actually reinstall it. But uh, yeah, it should work fine from this point on. Hope this helps.